All right, so we're going to do my entire Blu-ray collection for 2021. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first, we have The Postman, Kevin Costner, Sea Biscuit, Under Siege 2. I still have some of these uh, still sealed. I need to open some of them. Ford vs. Ferrari, The Raid Collection with both of the Raid films. Cradle to the Grave, Usual Suspects, Broken Arrow, Big Trouble Little China. This double feature with uh, Fatherhood and Life with Mikey from Mill Creek. Uh, these have been re-released by uh, Kino Lorber. Then we have The Man Who Knew Too Little, Superbad, uh, Disturbia, this, uh, The Nutcracker, The Untold Story. This is one of the craziest movies I've ever seen. But if you're an advocate for like bad movie watcher or if you're a bad movie lover, it's uh, one that I would highly recommend around the holiday season. This film is an absolute disaster, but it's it's worth the watch. Uh, Species, the original MGM Blu-ray because there was a Shell Factory one. Strange Brew, uh, Goodwill Hunting. This is the Paramount re-release, but it's the same as the 2012 uh, Blu-ray. Um, Ronin, Freaks and Geese, the complete series. The night before this... Um, four movie collection from Warner Brothers that comes with whoa, that comes with uh, both of the Mortal Kombat films the Mortal Kombat Legacy uh, I think web series and uh, also Spawn as well then we have uh, Unstoppable, I, Tanya, and the first uh, Under Siege alright then we go under here we have uh, these former rentals uh, we have District 9 and uh, State of Play then we have The Outsiders, the complete uh, novel, the um, the recut version of that one. I actually like that version more than the theatrical cut. Uh, they Live, Uncut Gems, Pulp Fiction, Crawl, Don't Breathe, Premium Rush, Pan's Labyrinth, The Bad Boys 1 and 2 Collection, Bad Boys for Life. And then um, the, my DC collection with uh, Man of Steel, Aquaman, the Josh Whedon Justice League. I hope they release the Zack Snyder cut on home video. Uh, Joker, Suicide Squad, Birds of Prey, Shazam, and Batman vs. Superman. And then we got 300, Idle Hands, the Scream Factory release, Taken, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, uh, Elf, that uh, which was in that like uh, artwork or whatever, that Target exclusive, whatever, uh, the Pitch Perfect 1 and 2 collection, and, uh, and Anomalisa. And then we come up here, we have uh, Inherent Vice, which is sadly the only uh, Paul Thomas Anderson I own on Blu-ray so far. Uh, the Ghost Rider collection with the, both of the Ghost Rider films, uh, Gladiator, The uh, Conjuring 1 and 2, Annabelle Comes Home, Edge of Tomorrow with Live, Die, Repeat, or, yeah, uh, 21 and 22 Jump Street, Labyrinth, Sherlock Holmes, The Guy Ritchie Version, How to Be Single, Avengers Endgame, Braveheart, Minister to Society, and then here we have a lot of box sets, like, uh, Planet Earth, which what I believe is the complete series, this is the Discovery Theater release, uh, the Ultimate Matrix, Matrix Collection with uh, all of the Matrix movies, including the Animatrix, Avatar, the complete series with Legend of Korra, the Fly Collection, the Friday the 13th box set, Samurai Jack complete series, and the James Bond collection, and then we come over here, we have uh, Rush 40, um, Bumblebee with the Transformers by movie collection, Kongsko Island, uh, the first three Die Hard films, Men in Black 3, 47 Meters Down, Kiss of the Dragon, The Nice Guys, Enemy of the State, Batman Begins with the Dark Knight, Anchorman, Constantine, I like that film, uh, Lights Out, Death Note, the complete series, I got this for like, used for like three bucks, that was a really good price on that one, The Nightmare on Elm Street Collection, Win Win, Contagion, which is practically a documentary now, uh, any which way, or every which way but loose, and any which way you can, Donnie Darko, Ninja Assassin, and Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, and then you come down here, we got, um, let's see, let me show you a little better. There we go. We got Anger Management, uh, Robocop, the original MGM Blu-ray, Terminator, Con Air, American Main, Deep Rising, the Kino Lorber release, Italian Job, Steelbook, His Dark Materials, the first season. I think they're releasing season two this summer uh, on Blu-ray. Then we have the Before, uh, all my Criterions right here on Blu-ray. We have uh, the Before Trilogy, Do the Right Thing, Silence of the Lambs, Repo Man, Slacker, Benjamin Button, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, Fisher King, Election, Hoop Dreams, Bottle Rocket, Rushmore, and Crumb. And also a little barbecue sauce or whatever right there. And then here we have Independence Day, uh, Payback, 
This is the only imported Blu-ray I have because this comes with both the theatrical cut and the director's cut. Uh, the U.S. Blu-ray only comes with just the director's cut. Uh, and I actually quite like the theatrical cut a little more than the director's cut. Uh, a Quiet Place, Jackass 3, E.T., The Batman Collection with uh, both of the Tim Burton and the Joel Schumacher films, Ang Lee's Hulk, Uncle Drew, Roadhouse, The Crow, Fight Club, The Bill and Ted Trilogy, uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, both of the Paddington films, Home Alone 2, Mrs. Doubtfire, this um, three movie collection, which comes with Don Bluth's Anastasia and Thumbelina, and also Fern Gully, uh, The Last Rainforest. Let's see, boom, up there. Uh, let's see, did I leave off? Yeah, Diary of Wimpy Kid trilogy, or technically, well, yeah, it's the first three movies. Simpsons movie, this, um, this Ice Age collection I got here, which is from Disney Movie Club. This was bizarre. So this comes with Ice Age and Ice Age 3 and the Christmas special, but it didn't come with Ice Age 2. I don't know why they just didn't put that one, like why they just didn't make it like a, a complete Ice Age collection. This is a really bizarre set, but I do have Ice Age 2, uh, Epic, and also uh, this Blue Sky collection right here. Let me show you this real quick. I'm pulling some of these out for your amusements, folks. Yep, this uh, Blue Sky Collection with Robots, uh, Horn Hears a Who, and Rio. Alright, we'll move those there. Okay, and then the next one we have here is uh, Alita Battle Angel, this uh, Stanley Kubrick Collection with 2001, Clockwork Orange and the Shining, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Wet Hot American Summer, Scott Pilgrim, Walter Mitty, Office Space with Napoleon Dynamite, Mean Girls, uh, The Greatest Movie Ever Made, Showgirls, Men in Black, Gifted, Friday... Dumb and Dumber with the Mask, Joe Dirt, uh, Dogma, which is uh, one of those Blu-rays I'm very fortunate to have. I actually found this like for 10 bucks at a used video store, uh, and I was very lucky to have this because this Blu-ray is out of print, and this is one of those where you would have to kill your mom to find this, to get this uh, on Blu-ray. This goes for like 100 bucks because uh, it's been out of print for years and years. Um, Apocalypto, which uh, used to be out of print, but it's in print now. Uh, and then we have all the Fast and the Furious movies with the exception of 8, because uh, I was not a fan of 8. And then the King of Comedy down there, so Martin Scorsese. Then we have uh, the first season of Young Sheldon. I have season 2 and 3, but I'm still watching those. Uh, the Big Lebowski, Fargo, uh, Last Man Standing with The Last Boy Scout, 2012, I, Robot, uh, Civil War, well, Captain America Civil War, uh, Judge Dredd, this uh, Nicolas Cage... <laughs> Uh, six movie pack with a bunch of just random Nicolas Cage films, but it's still pretty cool. So I like me some good old Nick Cage, uh, Swordfish, Black Panther, this, um, another box set, this like MGM box set, which comes with a bunch of family movies or a bunch of their family movies. That was a really cool box set. I got that for a really, really good price. The Alien Anthology with the first four Alien films, the Rush Hour Trilogy, uh, the Planet of the Apes Legacy Collection, the Tim Burton remake, uh, the X-Men Experience co Collection, which comes with the first three X-Men movies and First Class, uh, Days of Future Past, Logan, uh, the Spider-Man Sam Raimi Trilogy, and also Far From Home with Homecoming. I still need to get the Andrew Garfield ones. And then you come over here, we got Caddyshack, Gattaca, uh, Heldago, Mission Impossible 4, the Austin Powers Trilogy, Castaway, Rain Over Me, uh, this... Um, Oscar winning short film DVD collection right here. Uh, let's see. Howard the Duck, Hugo, Arachnophobia, Jurassic Park 3D, uh, Secondhand Lions, Edward Scissorhands, this Martin Scorsese collection, which comes with Goodfellas, The Aviator, and The Departed, Inception, Game Night, About Time, Face Off with Snake Eyes, uh, The Grand Budapest Hotel, Ted, True Romance, Judgment Night, uh, Jet Li's Fearless with Unleashed, and down there is Winged Migration. All right, so I'm going to cut, and we're going to look at the next two rows at the bottom. All right, so down here is where I have mostly animated films, and mostly uh, a lot of my family films are down in this area. So first we have all of the Disney ones that I have here in these first two rows. So we have uh, The Rocketeer, Saving Mr. Banks, Who Friend Roger Rabbits, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Cool Runnings. These were Disney Movie Club only exclusives when I used to have Disney Movie Club, um, but I have retired my subscription. Uh, heavyweights, then we go on to the animated ones like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Jungle Book, Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Zootopia, 
Atlantis, um, which actually comes with the direct video sequel as well. The Rescuers Collection, Milan 1 and 2, Bolt, Moana, uh, the Tigger movie, Prep and Landing, the Mickey Mouse uh, Collection, or yeah, with the Christmas films. 101 Dalmatians, both of the films, of course. Uh, some more live action here. We got Glory, or Eight Below, Glory Road, Enchanted, Frank and Weenie, uh, Tron, Tron Legacy. And then we go on to uh, the Pixar collection, which I have the short film collection, volume one, uh, Cars, Up, Inside Out, Brave, Good Dinosaur, Monsters, Inc., Incredibles 1 and 2, Finding Nemo, Wally, uh, all three, well, the first three Toy Stories, I still need to get the fourth one, uh, Ratatouille, Coco, and then we have here this, uh, again, Disney Movie Club exclusive with the Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus, like Halloween collection, Sorcerer's Apprentice, the Peace Dragon remake, uh, the Santa Claus trilogy, and Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. All right, and then over here, uh, we have Mouse Hunt, which recently just released a Blu-ray. Uh, Small Soldiers, these two, like I said, recently released a Blu-ray. And then we have um, my DreamWorks collection here. Well, actually, this is all DreamWorks. Uh, Shrek 1 and 2, Mega Mine, Rise of the Guardians, uh, the Holiday Collection, the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy, Over the Hedge, The Croods, Captain Underpants, Shark Tail, uh, Madagascar 2, 3, and the Penguins of Madagascar, Boss Baby, Spirit, uh, B-Movie, Monsters vs. Aliens, and the Kung Fu Panda trilogy. And then over here, the first few are like my Nickelodeon stuff. So the, both of the SpongeBob films, Rango, Monster Trucks, uh, Charlotte's Web, Good Burger, which just finally came out to Blu-ray as well, uh, Nacho Libre, and then we also have Popeye, Sonic the Hedgehog, and then down here is uh, all Sony titles. I have a lot of these mixed in, like Hook, uh, Matilda, Store Little 1 and 2, uh, Heavy Heavy Metal, uh, Eight Crazy Nights. I know these aren't kids' movies, but I just keep them in the animation. And then we have Claudia with, with the Chance of Meatballs 1 and 2, Ulto Transylvania 1 and 2, Pirates Band of Misfits, Peter Rabbit, Into the Spider-Verse, uh, Arthur Christmas, Indian in the Cupboard, Jumanji, and also Welcome to the Jungle. Goosebumps, Here Comes the Boom, and uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And then over here, uh, I actually did have some more Disneys. I have um, uh, both Lilo and Stitch, which is the collection of those films, and uh, The Lion King, which is actually the very first Blu-ray I ever got. I got this for my birthday in, tw in 2012, before I even had a Blu-ray player, so that was really cool. Uh, but over here, we have uh, Princess Mononoke, uh, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, Real Still, and uh, Agent Cody Banks, this is the uh, Olive Films release of it. And then another another Olive Films release, Larger Than Life, Secret Life of Pets, The Spy Kids Trilogy, Missing Link, The Lego Movie, The Iron Giant, uh, Space Jam when Looney Tunes Back in Action, and Detective Pikachu. All right, uh, I'm going to cut again, and then we're going to look at the last of uh, my Blu-ray collection. All right, so this is the last of my Blu-ray collection. We have uh, Words of Bathroom Walls, I Am Number 4, Central Intelligence, Frank, Deadpool 1 and 2, uh, Taxi Driver, The Last Dance, the uh, Netflix documentary, A Few Good Men, Brothers, the uh, Blade Runner 5 Disc Collection, 7, 9, Kill Bill 1 and 2, The Favorite, Be Kind Rewind, Rudy, Christmas Story, uh, Krampus, uh, In, the <laughs> In the Search of Darkness, which I actually did get this from the, um, I actually donated to this when this was originally, uh, when they were originally uh, doing the Patreon for it, it didn't take, I actually didn't get this until May of last year. So it took a long time to get. Uh, then we have this two movie collection with The Perfect Storm and Three Kings, Doctor Strange, Captain America, Jarhead, The Kingdom, and Green Zone, Triple Feature, Ray, uh, The Auction, Running Scared, East of Eden, Hunger Games Catch a Fire, The Aviator, Her, and The King Kong 2005 remake. And then here we have the Back to the Future trilogy, uh, then we have two Paramount Presents. We have Ghost and the Golden Child, um, Crimson Tide, Mission Impossible 5, this double feature of You Got Served and Stumped the Yard. I mostly got it for You Got Served because You Got Served is one of my biggest uh, So Bad It's Funny kind of movies. Uh, Invisible Man, Captain America, The First Avenger, The Revenant, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels with Snatch, uh, some guy Richie there. Pitch Black, um, Christmas Vacation, Zoolander, Don't Be a Menace, Bad Santa, Stay Tuned. Prometheus, the uh, Lethal Weapon collection with all four of the films, this uh, Clint Eastwood uh, collection, which comes with Letters of Iwo Jima, Million Dollar Baby, and um, the, uh, Unforgiven. 
uh, the Rocky Collection, Patriot Games, Speed Racer, Gone Girl, and uh, the Stranger Things box set. And then over here, we have Three Days to Kill, uh, Jaws, War Games, this uh, four comic collection, which comes with Watchmen, The Losers, History of Violence, and Jonah X. Um, Gravity, Dread, the Carl Urban one, 13 Ghost, uh, Frank Durabon's Stephen King collection with uh, the, the with the Shawshank Redemption and the Green Mile, uh, Booksmart, Legend, Maximum Overdrive, my favorite Stephen King movie, Run Little Run, Blues Brothers, The Haunting of Hill House Season 1, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, The Man from Uncle, Bad Grandpa, uh, District B13, and District... Uh, and District 13 Ultimate, The Martian, Role Models, uh, the Hannibal Lecter Collection, which comes with Manhunter, Silence of the Lambs, and also um, Hannibal, the Grindhouse Collection, which comes with both of the films and all the trailers, Phenomenon with John Travolta, Mad Max Fury Road, The Butterfly Effect 1 and 2, Gross Point Blank, Django Unchained, uh, Mockingjay Part 1, Sideways, Bullets, uh, The Princess Bride, Moneyball, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, uh, uh <laughs> sorry, the Thomas Crown Affair, uh, Venom, Beetlejuice, Malcolm X, Point Break, Little Monsters, The Rundown, Sin City, Wolf of Wall Street, the Spike Lee Joint Collection, which comes with the 25th Hour and He Got Game, Ravenous, John Wick Trilogy, Outbreak, City Slickers, Clear and Present Danger, Cowboys and Aliens, True Grit, The Remake, Blue Thunder, Escape from New York, X-Men Apocalypse, The Road Warrior, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, this uh, this triple feature pack, which comes with the Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins 2. Uh, Trading Places, which I might get the Paramount Presents line version of that one, because this version is the one, the older version, uh, the new version has better picture. Uh, Some of All Fears, then we have uh, this Mel Blank, or sorry, no, not Mel Blank, Mel Brooks double feature, with Young Frankenstein and Robin Hood in a tight. Escape Plan, The Best Man, Lucy, Gone Girl, or not Gone Girl, uh, Gone Baby Gone, a different Ben Affleck film. Now, all these I have here are bootlegs. Um, these you can't really get anymore because I got these off a friend off Instagram who doesn't do these anymore. Um, actually, this one I got off Stinky Tuna, but right now they're down, but they're going to they're gonna open back up, or it's supposed to open back up on April 1st, but this is the Blu-ray of True Lies because Disney has yet to release this one. Uh, Freddy Got Fingered. Now, these ones I also got off Instagram. Freddy Got Fingered, uh, which definitely Disney will probably never, ever release the Blu-ray, sadly. Uh, Good Burger. I got this before the Paramount's release came out, but I still have this one because this one comes with some bonus features that are not available on the official release. Osmosis Jones, Tiny AE, and also uh, South Park Imagination Land. Uh, again, these are all bootlegs, and these, um, like I said, are not still being sold uh again i got these before um the person who did them uh stopped doing them i was lucky enough to get them in time so yes uh that is my entire blu-ray collection for 2021 thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the near future